What's up, sports bettors? Alex here, and I have a bunch of player props, six player props for you today on prize picks. I say this all the time. The goal of these videos is obviously to get you guys profitable picks that you can tail, but it's also to explain how to beat prize picks long term, right? The goal of these videos is to explain how does prize picks work? How do you actually get an edge over this platform and win long term, right? Sharp sports bettors go through losing streaks and winning streaks. What really matters, right, in terms of your long-term profit is having an edge in winning long-term. So I say this all the time, but what makes prize picks a really interesting platform is as you can kind of see, it doesn't matter if you take overs or unders, you're always getting a 3x payout for a two pick power play, right? So the way that prize picks works is they don't vary payouts depending on if you select overs or unders, right? Any two pick entry, you're always getting a 3x payout. It doesn't matter what two picks you select. And it's the same for five pick entries, right? Your payout is static. It doesn't matter if you take overs or unders, doesn't matter if you take NBA picks or baseball picks, or you mix them together, right? So essentially your goal on prize picks is to find the player props that are winning, that are hitting at the highest possible rate. So I've explained this before, but on prize picks, if you're playing five flex plays, so if you're playing five flexes on prize picks and you're winning your picks, so let's say you can select your over-unders, like let's say all your over-unders, you can win 55% of them. So let's say you can select your over-unders 55% of the time correctly. So of the, you know, picks, so here we have, you know, Marcus Rashford goals plus assists. So let's say of the picks you're including in your prize picks entry, you're winning 55%, you're losing only 45%. So if you're playing a five flex, your ROI is going to be positive. You're going to have a 5% ROI if you're winning 55% of your individual picks and you're only losing 45, okay? Now what's very different is in a two pick power play, if you're winning 55% of your picks, so you're still winning 55% of your over-unders, your ROI is negative 9.25%. So in a five flex, it was positive 5%. If you're playing two pick power plays and you're winning 55% of your picks, your ROI is negative 9.25%. So that's why we're always recommending on prize picks that you play five flex, right? There's no magic. This is the spreadsheet will be in the description. It literally just breaks down the math. It just breaks down the payouts of prize picks. So anyways, how do we find player props on prize picks that are hitting at the highest possible rate, right? We want to find player props in our five flex because five flex are best that are hitting, you know, 55, 56% of the time, because if we're doing that, you know, we're going to be making money. So let's go ahead. Let's kind of get into it. So the first player prop I have is from the odds jam positive EV tool. So you can see right here, positive EV bets. It's a big word, but really all it means is plays with an edge right? Plays that are profitable. So again, prize picks doesn't vary payouts depending on you selecting over or under. So the easy strategy to beat them is you just want to find spots where sports books are telling you, hey, an over's really heavily favored or an under. So right here for Nick Fortes, it's just the bet in bold highlighted in green. So you can select any sports books you use on Odds Jam. Obviously, I'm focusing on prize picks in this video, but if you want to look for value on DraftKings, FanDuel, Caesars, whatever books, I think there's like, you know, there's hundreds of books on Odds Jam. So whatever books you use are probably on here if you don't have prize picks available. But you can see in terms of prize picks, the top play is Nick Fortes to get on base. So over one and a half bases, over half of a base, I apologize, right? And you can see here, all the sports books are saying, yo, this over should be priced around minus 150. Pinnacle, sharpest bookmaker in the world, they have this line at minus 154. DraftKings and Caesars have this at, you know, minus 145 to minus 155 on Fliff. So all the sports books have the over heavily favored, right? So all the sports books are telling us the over is more likely to occur than the under, right? That's why lines are juiced towards the over. The over is the favorite outcome. So this is a play that's winning, you know, above this break even win rate for a five flex. That's maybe hitting 55, 56% of the time. So it's a great play to include in our prize picks entry, right? And you can kind of think about it. Uh, to some people, this is a little confusing. But again, you really just have to understand prize picks doesn't vary your payouts depending on you selecting overs or unders. So let's just click into this NBA game really quickly. Or maybe we can keep it open, you know, so you can see right here, the Nets are minus 500 favorites, right? So the sports books are telling you, hey, the Nets are a lot more likely to win this game. So now this is going to open for the Knicks Pacers game. Okay, so here we can see the Knicks are big favorites, right? The sports books have them around minus 350 odds. So they're a big favorite, 
right? So the sports books are telling us the Knicks are a lot more likely to win this game. So it's no different here, right? Prize picks, they're not varying our payouts depending on if we select overs or unders, right? So our goal is to just find the plays that are winning at the highest possible rate. And here you can see all the sports books are telling us, yo, Nick Fortes, his over is the heavily favored outcome. He's a lot more likely to go over um, half of a base than to go under. He's a lot more likely to have one plus total base as opposed to having zero. So all the books, right? We're following the data points in the market. You know, that's what really makes Odds Jam different is this isn't, oh, I know Nick Fortes. I have inside knowledge with coaches. There's no BS, right? It's using real-time market data, real-time price data, sportsbook odds to find discrepancies on prize picks, right? And Odds Jam is updating, you know, millions of odds to point out these rare few betting opportunities that are profitable on prize picks or parlay play. So parlay play, it's not available um, in New York, but this is a competitor to prize picks and they actually have better prices. So they have better prices in many ways than prize picks. So that's a platform we're signing up for if you don't have it already. But regardless, you can see, you know, here we have one, two, three, four, you know, four sports books, all pricing this around minus 150 odds. We're getting minus 119 in a five flex. This is really good value, right? And you can kind of quantify um, the win probability with a calculator called a no vig fair odds calculator. So what this calculator does is it takes, you know, a sports books market and then tells you the win probability for each team, right? So you can see right here as an example, bet us has the Knicks at minus 350 and the Pacers at plus 280. So the Knicks are a really big favorite, right? But if you want to quantify that, you use a no vig calculator, right? And this calculator tells you, hey, based on how juiced and how favored the Knicks are, minus 350 odds, according to BetUS, according to BetUS's model, right? According to BetUS's model, the Knicks are 74.72% to win this game, right? And then if you take a look at, you know, let's say Bookmaker, you can see Bookmaker, they have the Knicks even more favored, not minus 350. They have the Knicks more favored at minus 365. So according to BetUS in their model, the Knicks are, you know, roughly 74.72% to win this game. But if we put in bookmakers market, minus 365, plus 292, now you can see, okay, according to bookmaker, a different sports book, the Knicks are a little higher, 75.47% to win this game, right? So long story short, you're never going to get a perfect answer as to, you know, what exactly should the odds be on Nick Fortes to get on base. So what you kind of need to do is just, you know, we can look at Pinnacle Sportsbook because Pinnacle is known to be one of the sharpest bookmakers. So if we put in their odds here, they have him to get on base at minus 154. So his over is juiced to minus 154. The under is plus 115. So you put that into a no vig odds calculator. And according to Pinnacle, this play is hitting. The over is hitting, right? The over is winning. So let me zoom out here. The over is winning 56.59% of the time. So if you're winning your plays in a five flex, 56.59% of the time, every pick was winning at a rate of 56.59%, your ROI would be 16.21%, right? So basically all the EV tool does is it scans prize picks and shows you spots where sports books have an over or an under really heavily favored. So here you can see under half of a first inning total run in Angels Mariners, all the sports books have the under as the heavy favorite, right? The under is the heavy favorite. In some sports books like Bet Online, they have the under more favored than, you know, DraftKings. DraftKings has the under a bit more favored than, let's say, WinBet. So you kind of look at all this data and you're like, yeah, I mean, it's very clear the under is a really big favorite according to the sports books. Prize picks isn't varying payouts based on me selecting over or under. So this is a great play to include. So long story short, the EV tool, you know, it's pretty simple to use. You're just looking at the bet in bold in green and you just want to find five of them. Because again, you want to be going with five flexes, not two pick power plays. Two pick power plays we showed earlier in the video were horrible. So you want to be going with five flexes so you can use this tool and you're just looking for, you know, um, five of the bets in bold that are highlighted in green. Those are the plays you want to go with. Um, now there's also a new tool on Odds Jam and this tool is called the Fantasy Screen. So what this screen does is it kind of simplifies the EV tool and it's a little less restrictive. Right, so what you can see here is Pablo Lopez, his line on prize picks to go over six and a half strikeouts. That was his line on prize picks. His over-under is at six and a half strikeouts. FanDuel has this minus 188 odds, but there's only one sportsbook posting odds for the Twins-Marlins game. 
right? So here we only have one sports book posting odds, right? And it's FanDuel. So the, the fantasy screen is a little less restrictive because what the EV tool says is the EV tool says there needs to be a minimum number of sports books all posting odds because we want to ensure the plays we're showing you are profitable on prize picks. So the EV tool requires that there's numerous sports books, not just FanDuel, posting odds on a given play. Right, so here you can see for the under half of a first inning total run, you know, you have numerous data points all telling you the same thing. The under should be the heavy favorite. Whereas for this play on Pablo Lopez, there's only FanDuel posting odds right now. It's a little less certain. So the fantasy screen, um, it just requires less data points to show you a play. So according to, you know, FanDuel, this play on Pablo Lopez over six and a half strikeouts looks incredible. It's 61.29% to occur, right? So long story short, you know, you're getting good value on prize picks to FanDuel, but there's not a ton of other sports books posting lines on Pablo Lopez over six and a half strikeouts, which is why you won't see this play on the EV tool. In the fantasy screen, I'll put a link to it below. It's currently free to use. It's in beta mode, so you can play around with it. But you can see you'll also get a lot of overlap in the picks. So you have Nick Fortes over half of a base. So you can see right here, the over half of a base is 56.29% to occur. So this is a great play to include. Here we can see the nerfy in the Angels Mariners game, right? So long story short, you know, this tool is a little less restrictive and just kind of presents the data in a different way. And you just want to play all the plays in green. So here you can see there's currently eight plays available on the fantasy screen. You can refresh at any time that are profitable, right? You want to stop again, when you get below like 54.3% or whatever it is. So 54.32%. So that's kind of the point where these plays, you know, don't become, or this play, these plays in yellow would not be profitable on prize picks, right? Once you get to the yellow, you want to hold off. You don't want to play these because the win probability isn't high enough to show a positive ROI on prize picks. But these plays are, you know, reasonably close to becoming profitable. So for example, and then red, you obviously don't want to play. So like Siakam, over seven and a half rebounds is 54.02% to occur, according to Odds Jam. So if we put in 54.02%, what you're going to notice is your ROI would be very slightly negative. So negative 1.5%. So pretty slightly negative. So it's not a play you want to include now, anything in yellow, but these are ones to keep your eye on right? Because if there's any line movements, player injuries, these could be great to pick up. But basically, you just want to play what's in green, probably starting with the highest odds to hit, right? The, the plays that are most likely to win will be at the top. And you can do this for underdog fantasy, no house advantage. Again, this is currently in beta mode. It's free to use, and it's called the odds jam fantasy screen. But long story short, here are the plays I went with. So no runs allowed in the first inning of the Angels um, Mariners game. Again, this plays from the EV tool. You also see it on the fantasy screen, which is free to use in beta. So you can check it out. We have Fortes um, over half of a base, right? We have Robinson under 10 and a half rebounds, Gallagher over half of a base, Elder over three and a half strikeouts. So both of these plays, Elder over three and a half strikeouts, Gallagher over half of a base, you're going to see on the EV tool, as well as the fantasy screen, right? Elder, Gallagher right? So the data is just presented in slightly different ways. So you can take this percent odds to hit, right? And you can put it into this little spreadsheet that I'll put in the description to kind of see if all your plays were running, winning at a rate of, let's say, 55.5%. If you could hit your over-unders at a rate of 55.5%, your ROI on prize picks would be 8.4% over the course of the long run. So basically, you know, Prize pick strategy is not super complicated. You just want to find spots where sports books have an under or an over really heavily favored. And because prize picks isn't varying your payouts based on you selecting over or under, you know, you want to find spots where the sports books have an under really heavily favored or an over, right? And over it was the case for Fortes. The under is the case for the Angels Mariners game. But we have Fortes to get on base, one plus base, Elder over three and a half Ks, Gallagher one plus base, Otani Flexen, you know, Nerfy in the Angels Mariners game, Robinson under 10 and a half rebounds. Then the only thing I replaced here um, was I replaced Fortes with Pablo Lopez over six and a half strikeouts. So hopefully this video was helpful. Any questions you have, I'll put my email in the description. Let's make money.